Hey everyone, welcome back to IAS Tech. Today we are diving deep into the world of Flexbox with Tailwind CSS. By the end of this tutorial, you will be a Flex master with Tailwind. So let's start by understanding what Flexbox is. Flexbox or flexible box layout is the layout model in CSS that allows items in the container to be dynamically arranged depending upon the screen size. First things first, to use Flex with Tailwind, you will want to set your container to display as Flex. So let's do that. Here, I'm going to create a div and I will give it a class Flex. So one of the most common uses of Flexbox is to control the alignment of the items. So you can very easily align horizontally and vertically. So first we will talk about the horizontal alignment. So let's say I have an element our text hello world in it and you can see it is being shown here let me add some border to make it visible okay i will increase its width so let's say w 80 percent okay and I will also add some height. To align items to the start on the left side, uh, you just add the justify start. That is, so for example, I add justify start. So by default, it is set already. So you will see it is on the start. But if you bring it in middle horizontally, just add the center and it will bring it in the middle. And then if you want to bring it to the right, just use the right here and it will be actually instead of right, you need to use the end and it would be aligned to the right. Okay. Another uh, very useful thing is that you can add the evenly uh, spacing in your elements. For example, I have multiple elements here. Hello world and i'll word again again like this right now you can see that there is no space or gap between those but if i add justify between then you can see that it will add space between items evenly so if you want to see all of other options just uh, type justify dash you will see that we have all of the options like uh, start and center between so you can try we already have tried the between and there are others space uh, around so that will distribute space around the items so other than that we have uh, justify evenly so it will give the uh, space to all of these elements evenly, equally. So let me add the border here so that you could see it more clearly. Okay. So other than that, we have stretch we have other things so after that we will discuss the vertical alignment so in the to add the vertical alignment you can use items so for example i use if you want to bring it on the top you just use items start that would be by default already that you can see but if you set item center and then it would be in the middle vertically and if you use the items and then you will see in this way you can uh, use uh, vertical uh, uh, and uh, horizontal spacing uh, settings all together so for example items end but you also want to use 
justify evenly so this will work all together or you can use center it will work in this way or you can use justify center it will work in this way or you can use between then this is how it will look so in this way you can create a lot of variations of the alignments after that we will discuss about the direction and wrapping so flexbox gives us the flexibility to change the direction of the items and decide how the how they wrap when there is not enough space so for example first i will talk about the direction uh, then we will talk about the wrapping so for example right now you can see these are being shown uh, in this direction this is the horizontal direction we can also call it flex row that is applied by default but if you want to add if you want to display it vertically then use flex call and you will see that in this vertical direction now we will uh, implement the wrapping feature so for example uh, let's say uh, I will for now remove it. So let's say we have these boxes. I will add a width of 400 pixel each. And okay, if you add few more, then there would not be enough space. And if you keep adding them then it will not give everyone 400 pixel it will keep reducing the width e uh, equally for all of these boxes like if you hover on it you can see that there uh, every box is taking 230 233 pixel point 48 okay so it is not taking the width that i wanted to give it so to fix that problem you can go to the parent and use flex wrap and oops use flex wrap save it okay now you can see that any other element that is more than the available space it will use the flex wrap and show them below automatically and if you don't want any wrap and you want literally want to uh, set that you don't want any wrap by default it is set to the no wrap but if you set you can also set it manually no wrap so in the, that way, it will never add a wrapping. Further, another very interesting feature is that, look at this, we have wrap. Let me add some alphabets or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven okay now if you add flap uh, flex wrap reverse select it then you will see that it will wrap in the reverse reverse direction it will show the wrapped elements first and then other elements later so you can see it So, another very interesting feature that I will show you is that right now you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 in the sequence. But if you use flex reverse, row reverse, then it will reverse the row. It will show the 7 first, 6 later and so on. Other than that, we also have the feature about the flex grow shrink and bases. So, you can easily grow the components or elements. So, for example, uh, I will remove all of the other elements and I will remove the width from the two. Right now, let me remove the reverse as well. Right now, you can see that one and two, one has a fixed width, but two has no width. But I want to take the two element. Uh, to consume the available space automatically to make that possible you can simply add flex grow and it will automatically take all of the 
remain uh, available space by itself and if you don't want to allow any item to grow you can simply literally add that flex grow to zero by default this is already set but if you really need to literally set that you can do that as well so another thing is that let me add all of these so right now you can see that these are being shrinked but if you don't want to make them shrink then you can add flex shrink zero uh, actually one second you have to add it here to any of these so for example i added to that so now all of other elements are being shrinked but it is the third column is not being shrinked it is keeping its width and it will it may also break the layout if you are on the smaller devices so you may need to add some breakpoints and media curious to fix that so this is very nice feature you can add the flex shrink to multiple element as well so for example i will add it here as well so two of these elements would keep the original width that is the 400 pixel but all of other elements would be shrinked because there is not sufficient uh, sufficient space available so but in some case if you literally want to uh, say that you really want to make something shrinkable you can say that as a well, flex shrink mm -hmm. so normally you don't have to do that uh, manually uh, because this is set by default You can also set the flex basis. So for example, uh, let's see. Right now, all of these elements are being shrinked, but to one of uh, those elements, so for example, here you add flex basis, and here you can add 800 pixels. So let's say. Uh, let me try the values, I guess. I think flex basis is not available. Anyways, now we will talk about some real world use cases. So so let's apply what we have learned in some real world scenarios and first of all we will be centering an item so both vertically and horizontally so for that i'm going to remove all of these so we already have seen uh, these things already in the previous discussion but let's do it more practically so here i would add centered content and if you add item center it is already in the center and if you add justify center then it would be in the middle in this way So now we will create a navigation. So let's say nav and anchor tag home about contact and here I will add the flex justify between actually let me show you before adding that so this is how it look like before adding that if you add justify between it will add the equal space between everything but the the width is very small that's why you cannot 
uh, feel that difference so for that i will add w 500 pixels and now i will add justify between and now you can see the evenly space is available there now you can add some padding as well if you want to so after that we will uh, look at the responsive grid layout so you can make very responsive grid as well so for that let me remove it for now and here i will add a div and then in the div i will add box one let me add the classes so very first class that i would like to add is flex flex wrap okay and then i would like to add class w1 slash 2 and then in the medium screen i want this width and on the larger screens we want w-1 slash 4 okay now uh, let's save it and let's uh, add multiple actually before that let me add a width there okay and now i will copy paste it several times two three four okay now this is what you can see and this should be fully responsive and it should adjust its uh, width uh, depending on the screen dimension so let's say if i open the inspect element and you can see that right now uh, it is taking this uh, amount of width for every box and if you reduce the screen size at this point you can see now every element is taking the 33 percent instead of 25 and if you reduce it further then now every element is taking 50 percent of width so this is how you can make it very responsive very easily by using the flex box that's it for today's tutorial on flex box with tailwind css i hope this video made it easy for you to grasp the flex concept within tailwind if you found it helpful then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials